Good morning, mom. It's me. So I have been thinking about you like just a ton and thinking about like, like simple shifts that can bring our bodies out of inflammation. And I haven't studied um, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I know it is an inflammatory um, illness, which there is a lot of information out there about inflammation. Um, for me, shifting um, in the morning um, is a lot about not filling my mind with other things. And so if I do something just as simple as I'm going to do yoga and meditate, even for five minutes of meditation, five minutes of yoga, it makes a huge difference. So I just sent you this super simple um, yoga flow and it's from this really cool book called Radiant Rest by Tracy Stanley. I studied um, with her for a couple of months. Um, my friend Roxanne and I did. And so this is a super simple yoga flow. So you're on all, um, you're in child's pose, which you lean down, stretch out your arms and kind of sit on your back legs with your forehead to the ground. And then you come up. So you're on your knees and you extend your, your arms like you're just happy to greet this day, your arms stretching and then back into child's pose. So that's kind of one little flow. And then you come up on all fours and then raise your booty Tuck your toes, raise your booty, down on all fours, child's, reach up, and child's, all fours, tuck your toes, booty up, all fours, child. up, child, all fours, tuck your toes, booty up, all fours. And then as you do this, you can just get it to where you're doing something maybe um, just a little bit longer. So you child and you reach up and your forehead down and you kind of wiggle your, you know, your whole trunk. And you spread your legs wide, let your belly hang between your legs. And maybe you just do three breaths each place. And then when you rise up, you're on your knees like this. You reach up. And back to child's. And stretch. Feel your forehead on the earth. Come up onto all fours. And then you kind of tuck your toes like this. And then you push up. So and you end up making like a little triangle. But you can kind of modify this however you want. Like, like if you're in child's pose, you do this, you know, maybe just re, you know, just, just go up a little, you know, just kind of get on your toes. And maybe just lift your knees, you know, whatever your body wants. And if this is a, the one thing about doing down dog too, um, you push with your whole hand, not just like, not like on your wrists, cause that'll, doesn't hurt anybody's wrists, but you know, your ha whole hands down, or you could even do this. Maybe just, you know, lift your knees a little bit. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's all just playing in your body. 
I just think of it like, you know how a toddler is like in love with their toes? I just think about getting back to our bodies being wondrous things. But they, you know, they carry us through this life. And we've had such a, a lifetime, a society norm of shame. You know, that you, oh, you're supposed to look this certain way because men want you to, you know. Um, you know, long hair, perky breasts, you know, long legs and being thin and young and, you know, light skinned and whatever. And it's like, we can just throw it off. And every, it takes some work, it does. <laughs> I mean, like every day you have to go, oh, that weird thought I just had, it's not me. It's my indoctrination. And throw it off and hug your body and say, I get another day. I get another day. And thank you. And I am grateful of how much love you've given me my whole life. And I love you so much. And I am just imagining little incremental changes, a little less media for me, less sugar. I'm trading media and sugar <laughs> for yoga and meditation. I think I may have even said that backwards in my text, so you could just laugh about that. And I hope you have a beautiful day. It is Tuesday. It is September, oh gosh, is this the 21st? Like tomorrow's the first day of fall? Crazy. My, you, September is my total, total favorite month. And um, I've been writing this poem about Bob, my former spouse who, who passed last October and our first September without him, he would have been 64 on the 27th. And maybe I'll dedicate this next week to him. And so glad that he was there for our daughters and that he stayed so long. And I think a lot of the reason he stayed so long he was able to is he really lived life on his terms and uh, I don't know maybe that's a lesson for all of us to live life on our own terms to be us that that's the best we've got to be us and to be okay being us and to throw off all the ideas of what we should be and just be. Wild green soul, Catherine, have a beautiful day.